this video, we're going to check out the Centrum Deluge 1.2 public firmware. This time, we're going to go over the new alternative playback feature again. It's a very basic feature update, but it can make the composition process a lot easier. So previously, the original playback worked if we're in a different screen than the first one on a clip, and we wanted to play from it. You'd have to push down left right knob and press play. And if you just pressed play from another screen, it would play from the start of the clip. It would play from the start of the clip by default. But this was problematic if you're working on longer sections of your clips. You'd always have to hold down left right knob and press play. But this was problematic if you're working on longer sections of your clips. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some examples so you can see a specific workflow, which is to manually step sequence longer tracks. By improvising a few tracks from scratch, we'll see how alternative playback makes it easier to work on longer tracks. We're going to go beyond 16 steps length. This column's the drums, and then these two columns are two different synths that I programmed earlier. I have the master out of the deluge going through the hologram chroma console to give the overall audio a little extra character. First, we have to make sure that the playback alternate mode is turned on. So you have to do this only one time. Just press shift, select knob, scroll down to community features, push in the select knob, then scroll all the way down, then go up three, alternative playback start behavior. So to toggle that on and off, just push down the select knob. Make sure the box is checked. Let's save it. So just press back. Now it says saving settings. This entire row is a section and we have the drum and two synth lines. I already programmed music into these clips, so let's just listen to it. Now it's just looping. So let's go to some blank clips and we're going to start from scratch. Hold down kit, press the clip button. Now we're in the clip. So I'm just going to make a really basic beat here. Now this one, let's just do Euclidean. So I'm going to hold it down, push down and turn the up down knob. Turn off effect entire. So I'll hold down the hi-hat and press velocity. Now we can change the velocity of each note. Press clip. Now we're back into the clip view. What I want to do is make a kick drum that's going to only play on the fourth time it plays the clip. So we're going to create a pad here. So hold down the pad and turn the select knob to the right. It says iteration dependence, four of four. So each fourth pass, that one's going to play. I'm also going to add another snare right here. Let's do the same thing, 404. So let's listen to the beat. Now let's press song. Now let's make a bass line. So before we could not zoom out from this point, but now on this new firmware, so we can push and turn the left right knob and zoom out so we can keep zooming out that's second notes but i want it to be eighth notes now we can enter in eighth notes without having to skip every other one when we draw one note in and zoom in a sixteenth you can see it's extended that the note has a tail it's actually two steps so i just made that note and let's zoom in we can see the notes actually two steps if you're looking at sixteenth notes view so let's zoom back out I want that to play. Let's choose other notes. Okay, let's listen to it and see what it sounds like. I want this note to be here, so just switch them out. There we go. Now I'm just going to open up the cutoff a little. Okay, so now what I want to do is go to song. Let's go into the second synth. Let's just hold down the pad, press clip. Now we don't see the other notes or any reference at all. Let's just press play. Okay, so we can see the timing and let's pick some notes so let's just keep this really basic let's look at this in sets of fours or you can look at it in sets of twos so I want this to play and then I want this to play from this I just want it to play from here let's press play and listen to it 
Now the next note I want to play here on the first one of this. And that note. So let's listen to it. Okay, so I like how that sounds, but I want it to also extend the second screen. So hold down shift and go to the right. And now if I press play, it's going to start from the same position. So this is the first screen at bar one. Now we're going to go to bar two. It's going to play from here now because we enabled alternate playback. Let's press play. So now I want to figure out some notes for that. So I'm going to play a note here. And then down here, maybe here. Then we're gonna put a note right here. So you can see, just time it out a little bit. Now let's start from the beginning. Say I like this phrase, but I want another variation. So I can hold down shift and push down the left right knob. Now it just zoomed out to the full clip. Let's do it again. Now it just duplicated it. If I zoom back in to 16th notes, and then I move over here, we're in the third bar. Let's change this note. So I think I want, so let's make it like here, there, and then here. Let's listen to it. Just press play. Now let's change these notes. Now let's listen to it. Let's actually move this over here. Let's go down here. I can also hold down a note. It'll play it, and then I can also go up and down. Until I find the note that I'm looking for. So now I can zoom out. We can see each part of this long pattern. So we can watch the cursor and see where we're at in the pattern. We can hear the bass. Now we can see the white pads. That means it's in a different location than the actual pad. So if I zoom in, we can see where it actually lies. Zoom back out and we can see the white pads indicate there's notes there, but not exactly at that spot. And we can make really long patterns. I'm talking like very long, like 5,000 bars if you want to. You might even be able to go further than that. Let's go back out to song. Now I'm just going to create new clips down here. So new kit and then the new synths. Now we're going to push them again and they'll be selected. So let's do another example. I'll talk over it while I'm doing it. Let's enter into the clip here. So let's choose the kick drum and then just push down the up down knob. And we can do a Euclidean. I'm gonna also shift the notes. If I hold up down knob, turn left right knob, we can see we can shift and it loops around. I think I'm just gonna add snare here and here. Let's Euclidean the hi hat. Make sure effect entire is off. Now press this, and then you just press velocity right here. Now we can change the velocity of each note. Let's press clip to exit back out. So there's a beat, and now let's go back to song. Let's make a bass line for this, so hold it down, press clip. Let's zoom out, remember, to eighth notes. Extend it. Okay, we have a bass line. Let's turn down the cutoff a little. Turn down the resonance. Now let's go in song, jump in to the second synth clip. Now this is actually, if we push down left right now, we're in 16th notes. Let's make this two bars long. There we go. 
Now I'm in the first screen because we're in 16th notes. So let's figure out some notes. Now press play, we're in this screen. Let's extend again. Now we have four bars, so there's the first bar, second, third. Now we're in the fourth. Let's listen to it. Just go back to the first bar, press play, zoom out, and see the notes. <laughs> 